A few days ago, new screenshots for the fourth game of the Dark Pictures Anthology were revealed on Steam. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the screenshots and maybe some of my predictions and theories on what we can see in the next Dark Pictures Anthology game, The Devil in Me. So the first screenshots that we're going to look at are some environmental ones. Here is a room stored with mannequins. This picture right here really sets the vibe of the game and you can really tell that this is going to be either based on Saw or Escape Rooms. There's nothing really significant about this picture but we will talk about more mannequins later on in this video. The next screenshot that we're going to look at is the Hotel Hallway. Interestingly, this reminds me of the hallway that the curator walks down by in the intro sequence. Now the reason why I brought that information up is that there is a popular theory that the curator and the killer might be the same person just basing on their design. The final environmental screenshot that we're going to look at is the docks and this is an interesting picture. The first two pictures that we saw are things that are inside of a building. This one seems to be outside. What does this picture supposed to mean? Is this prologue content or is this game going to do something similar to escape rooms? My guess is that since the game is not going to take place at the actual murder castle, but a replica, maybe that replica is located outside of Chicago and somewhere else remote, as you can see from this post-it card posted by Supermassive Games' Twitter. I think that the hotel could be located at a secluded island away from the city and the only way the crew can go there is by a boat. Next we have some more character reveals. Here is the guy with glasses that we saw got burned in House of Ashes Premonition. A really cool detail about this screenshot is that if you zoom in on the guy's glasses you can see the mannequin that lit up the lighter right in front of him. And there's more. Apparently, this guy is stepping on some sort of ladder or a trap that if he activates will initiate the booby trap and burn him alive. We could be seeing here our first possible death scene. Next we got two more characters. Throughout the Dark Pictures games, we get to see character models getting reused from previous games. But this female character with headphones is a completely new character model. Think the Reddit user Kate Denson above. Next, we have Nose Ring Girl, or what people call Fliss 2.0. We don't know the names of these characters yet except for Kate Wilder, so we're just gonna call the others based on some distinctive features. In this picture right here, they seem to be inside of a dark room, which is actually one of the rooms from the murder castle according to this map. I'm interested to see what they are going to do with this room. In our final screenshot, we see Fliss 2.0 going inside some sort of electric room. Could this be a scene where the characters are able to cheat out of a trap? Or maybe that's what the killer wants them to think and they're only ending up going into one of his traps. If you up in the brightness of this image, you can see that the headphone girl is actually wearing a skirt and you can also see Kate Wilder looking back. Now, I don't know what's on her neck or on the back of her neck, but it looks like they turned her hair into a ponytail. If you find this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And the trailer for The Devil in Me is already out today. I'm excited for this game and see you all later.